Greetings. We got a pair of dart heads here, iron eagles. These are going on an engine. Fixing to put together. It's not going to be a all-out horsepower. It's going to be more of a torque build. It's going into a 5,000 pound Suburban. So it's going to be more of an emphasis on torque. But these were a pretty damn good deal. Sometimes you play your cards right find shit these heads are used in the dirt track world classes that require cast iron heads in you know, different places have different rules but for the most part they gotta be pretty much stock replacement but I picked these heads up for a hundred and fifty bucks. These are fucking Iron Eagle. So, hundred and fifty dollar pair of Iron Eagles. These are originally 72 cc chamber. But I had them milled down. These motherfuckers are here. Had them milled down to 68 cc. That's better. They got pretty nice chambers and shit. Good heart shaped chamber, good thick decks, even with it's about 20 thousandths taken off the deck. So it should be about a 68 cc chamber, and with the rest of the combo. Uh, Flat top piston, two valve relief. About ten in the hole. And going with a twenty-six thick graphite marine head gasket. A maul. I say maul. Some people say molly. But I like, I prefer mall. But going with a 26 thick graphite mall head gasket, and the pistons will ride 10 in the hole. So that'll be a 36 thousandths quench, which is pretty good. And this engine is getting a relatively, it's a 355. 1977 355 let's get a hydraulic roller it's 218 228 at 50 495 505 lift 110 load separation hydraulic roller so that's the bump stick going in it I think it's made by Elgin or one of them. And then going with a Edelbrock Performer RPM intake. The compression should come out to about 10 to 1. It's a 4 bolt 350 with a old early 70s nodular cranking and shit <coughs> truck rods and hyper eutectic pistons 
Set going with a Edelbrock Performer RPM with a 750 Holly Vacuum Secondary. They already have screw in studs and shit. They need to be cleaned up. But I'll get them cleaned up, get them painted. You got a heat cross over there. It's only in one port though. So these make good street heads. They're fucking super stock legal. Like legal stock replacement. But they're better. They flow more than the best double hump head did from the factory. And they're way fucking thicker. You can crack these some bitches if you hit it with a sledgehammer. The rest of the combo would be HEI tuned up. Fucking inch and three quarter primary headers and three inch collectors three inch exhaust probably a couple of dynamax bullets or something that's going on a, a 92 suburban big bastard so i wanted to make substantial torque Ain't so much worried about the horsepower, but it ought to make fucking 400 plus, no problem. But it should make 450 pounds of torque. That's the goal, is a torque build. It'll be all done by 5500 RPM. Power band be like two grand to 5,500. So it's this milder shit. But you take an engine like this and drop it in a gutted Malibu or something, it'd be a pretty fun ride. It would get on down the road pretty good. These fucking things weigh a ton. Got pretty good exhaust on them. They're thick. So even after milling, they still got a pretty thick, thick, thick sur surface. So they had 20 thousandths taken off of them. These ain't got many miles on them. They ain't much use. They've never been used on the street, so. They don't have much use at all. But they're gonna make a good pair of street heads for my wife's suburban. These heads are a few years old. They're good old American shit. American made darts. They're pretty fucking, I forgot what the flow they're rated at, but, you know, it goes back to you put these fuckers on 10 different flow benches and get 10 different sets of results. But I don't think they flow as much as a Vortec head, but they're, they're right behind it. Well, they might. They might flow more than that, actually. For some reason, fucking 240 something just popped in my head out of nowhere. So, seems like I have seen.
flow results on these heads and it might have been in the 240s. So they are, I, th I think they are a little bit better than a Vortec head on flow. And they're definitely better on thickness and shit. They won't crack. But, got $150 in these fucking castings. About $200 at the machine shop. So there's 350 bucks. Got valves, springs, retainers, locks, seals, all the shit to put them together. I'd call that $300. So $650. Have a pair of irony. I think these are 180s. But Iron Eagle. Fucking dart heads with all new shit in them, ready to rock and roll. 650 bucks. So that's cheaper than you can buy Chinese fucking aluminum heads. I guarantee you these are way tougher. Now if a person ain't worried about weight and shit. Just wanting to build a good truck engine that's got some grunt. That's going in a big pig of a vehicle anyway, so the weight really ain't no concern. But these are a good choice for a lot of applications. Say so a person could get 450 plus horsepower with these no problem with the right build and a bigger cam and more compression and single plane intake but this particular build it ain't going to be about that it's it says all about the low end grunt and however many horsepower it makes it's just where it's going to fall but it's going to pull like a son of a bitch for a 350. It's going to have a lot of torque. That cam I selected it out of build a lot of low end. Good cylinder pressure and shit. The 10 to 1 compression would be quite a bit. It might need better than the cheap shit fuel, but it'll just be cruise ground and probably won't have 30, 32 degrees timing in it, so I think it'll be alright. But Not every engine's got to be a 9,000 RPM fucking racing engine. And a person, like I said, you drop an engine like this in a lightweight car, it'd make for a pretty spunky ride. And them pretty decent sized runners. They'll take a big, like a 144 diameter spring and shit too. Take your standard inch and a quarter. Or like a 144, 145. So, you put a hydraulic roller in it. So it's getting a 144 diameter spring. Ain't even got a cut for it. It's already done. Throw a shim down in that, that inch and a quarter part. But here they are, fucking 
Dart Iron Eagle 180s. That's gonna make a pretty good head for a torquey little small block. It'll suit the suit the build.